Hey there, curious minds. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey into the inner workings of cells to uncover the mysteries of ribosomes, those minuscule powerhouses responsible for protein synthesis. Get ready to uncover the secrets behind ribosome structure, their strategic locations, and the incredible impact they have on life itself. Before we dive into the nitty-gritty, let's start by understanding the structure of ribosomes. Ribosomes are composed of two subunits, the larger subunit and the smaller subunit. These subunits come together during protein synthesis, but can also exist independently in the cell. The larger subunit contains three binding sites, the A site or aminoacyl tRNA site, the P site or peptide EL tRNA site, and the E site or exit site. The smaller subunit plays a vital role in positioning the messenger RNA during translation. Ribosomes are found in various locations within the cell, reflecting the dynamic nature of cellular processes. Let's explore these locations. The majority of ribosomes are located freely in the cytoplasm. These ribosomes synthesize proteins that are intended to stay within the cell itself. Some ribosomes attach to the rough endoplasmic reticulum, creating the rough appearance due to ribosomes studding the ER surface. These ribosomes synthesize proteins that are either secreted from the cell or are embedded within cellular membranes. Mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, have their own ribosomes. These ribosomes are responsible for producing proteins that are essential for mitochondrial function. Now that we've grasped the structure and locations, Let's discuss the immense importance of ribosomes in the cellular world. Ribosomes are the workhorses of protein synthesis. They read the genetic information encoded in mRNA and translate it into functional proteins that carry out numerous biological functions. As cells grow and divide, they require a constant supply of proteins. Ribosomes play a pivotal role in ensuring that cells have the necessary proteins to maintain their structure and function. Ribosomes don't just produce proteins for structural purposes. They also synthesize enzymes, signaling molecules, and regulatory proteins that orchestrate cellular activities. Let's now delve deeper into the functional aspect of ribosomes, the ribosome initiates protein synthesis by binding to the mRNA and assembling the two subunits around it. This process involves initiation factors and a special tRNA called the initiator tRNA. During this phase, the ribosome moves along the mRNA, reading the codons and recruiting appropriate tRNA molecules that bring in the corresponding amino acids. Peptide bonds are formed between these amino acids, creating the growing polypeptide chain. The ribosome recognizes a stop codon on the mRNA, and this signals the end of protein synthesis. Release factors help in the disassembly of the ribosome and the release of the newly synthesized protein. And there you have it. A closer look at ribosomes, their intricate structure, diverse locations, incredible significance, and pivotal functions in the cellular world. From building blocks of proteins to the architects of life's complexity, ribosomes truly exemplify the marvels of the microscopic realm. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our next exploration into the mysteries of science. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning.